Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney. Today, I wanna to talk to you about failing to utilize the resources that are right in front of your face. And uh, I captured this, or captured this, titled this, um, the, the, you're probably the person that refused to go from word perfect to word. Um, before I get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you have not subscribed to my weekly email newsletter, aimed specifically at law firm owners um, and those of you that want to build a law firm, then you're missing out. Go to theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter um, to sign up for that. But I saw a post today in a, in, on Facebook in a different group and where, where a guy was, was not complaining, he was looking for options, um, um, potential or uh, uh, people that had a, a quick question Right, he's like, how do I deal with these quick question people? Um, but he he prefaced that by saying, and I don't want to use online scheduling tools. And my reply to him was simply, you lost me at, I don't want to use online scheduling tools, which led me to title this. You know, you probably were the guy or the person, the gal, the person that didn't want to switch from word perfect to word. And I, as I was writing that, I was like, God, I bet a lot of you experienced word perfect because when I was first starting out um, word perfect was like the lawyer -y thing it's what all the paralegals like to use like the formatting was old school it's basically like using a typewriter and people refused the switch even though Microsoft Word was out there it was easy to use they were killing it something with macros or something I don't know but anyway the point of this video is simply this if you refuse to use technology that's going to help your practice that's going to help you not just make more money, but have happier clients, have happier staff, and, and um, have a happier you, then, you know, I don't feel bad for you, right? There's There are all these software uh, technologies out there to, that you can use to help you do all the things that you want. Um, you know, and to answer this guy's question, how can you deal with these uh, people that have um, time, quick questions for you, right? The way I handle them is this. Everybody gets put on the calendar. I never take a phone call ever, unless it's an emergency, and I never have emergencies because I'm in estate planning and I don't take clients that have emergencies, period. If somebody's calling you and they have a quick question, the solution is simple. Go to my URL, right, which would be, I would set something up like this, cmslawfirm.com forward slash quick question, something like that. It could just be question where they can, they can register, right? And it, this way you can do a couple things. You can say, um, if you're a client, they're gonna have a different link anyway. So this would be for non-clients. They can go there, they can do their, their quick question, and they can pay 50 bucks, okay? And all, they can decide, is my quick question worth 50 bucks or not? Um, and if they're a referral, it doesn't matter. They pay 50 bucks. Because if they get a quick question and a referral will send them your way, hopefully, um, they believe that, that their answer to this question is going to be worth more than 50 bucks or they should not be asking you the question. So I use Acuity Scheduling. Um, you know, I think, I mean, just go check that out. I have an affiliate link, but I don't care. So I use Affiliate Scheduling. You can take payments through there. I don't even do this because I just decide, I just take calls. I don't care. I let people schedule me and talk to me for, what, for whatever they want. I feel like it's karmic. happens way less than you think. Um, I think when you hold yourself out there to a certain... Um, standard you'll get a certain client now I understand that that's different for different practice areas but for estate planning that's just how it is um, so the whole point though the bigger point um, inside of answering that tiny question about how to handle these quick question callers is stop being afraid of utilizing and learning new technology take the same time to, to, to um, apply to your business some of the same time and effort that you're taking to apply to your client matters, to your legal work. You know, the, the more efficiently um, your business can run, the better everything is. And he's making them do all these things. So, you know, I like answer the phone and try to figure out, is this a question that should be answered now or later? Is it worth talking to or not? That's just unfair for your staff um, because they just don't know. So that's it, right? Utilize technology. Don't be the person that hangs on to using you know, a typewriter forever, carbon paper forever, word perfect forever. Find these new technologies, utilize them, um, make life easier for you, make life easier for your potential clients, 
make life easier for your clients, make it easier for people to sign up with you, and you will be happier, everybody will be happier. All right, last but not least, if you have not signed up for the greatest newsletter in the world, go to theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter and sign up. Every Sunday, in your inbox, it's magic. Theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. As always, I'm Christopher Small. I'm The Unconventional Attorney. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you know somebody that needs to hear it, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. And uh, go subscribe to that newsletter. All right, that is it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.